Thanks for taking a few minutes to hear about our family. We are Travis, Tiara, Teo, and Esther Mae Barnwell. We so treasure getting to be global missionaries sent out from Church of the Advent. This is a photograph from our wedding, which will have happened 10 years ago this July. We have our origins right here in this church community. In this photo, you'll probably recognize Tommy, Hillary, Riley, Peter, and my brother, Matt Barnwell, who each played an important role at our wedding. The support of the Advent community has been essential to our marriage and lives. This picture was taken in a behind the scenes pre-staging room not long before the wedding ceremony itself. But if other pictures had been taken out in the sanctuary at this time and leading up to it, you'd probably recognize either yourselves or other familiar Advent folks who were also preparing to make this wedding happen through their gifts of music, reading, ushering, hospitality, and the list goes on. I'll circle back to this photo in a minute, but I just can't say enough about how deeply grateful we've long been to Church of the Advent as we've leaned into this church family over the years for discipleship, friendship, and a great deal of support during different seasons of life. As part of our spiritual formation at Advent, we've grown in our understanding of how deeply intertwined our identity in Christ, our vocational selves, and sharing the gospel truly are. Travis and I are both social workers with most of our experience coming in cross-cultural contexts where we've supported the provision of services to vulnerable immigrants. We've mostly done this through programmatic guidance and staff development. With family roots in Indonesia on my mom's side, Travis and I have long wondered about and prayed for God to open a door for us to pursue our vocation in Southeast Asia. From 2019 to early 2020, we got to explore this calling while living in Cambodia, where Travis supported the International Justice Missions Office there, and afterwards was hired by another Cambodian anti-trafficking NGO to oversee programs. And then just before we returned to the US with the outbreak of COVID, we were introduced to a global sending organization that places Christ followers as working professionals in parts of the world that have very little proximity to or familiarity with Christians. These and many other signposts throughout our lives have led us to discern our calling as global missionaries. Our sending organization, whose name I can't share in this online presentation for security reasons, will be placing us in Southeast Asia with a local ministry that seeks to further Christ's kingdom and deliberately care for vulnerable people. This will be a long-term arrangement, and we will spend most of our first year learning to speak the local language. We will be part of a missional team composed of various professionals who are from different countries and church denominations. I'm sure this will have some challenges, but we're very much looking forward to benefiting from the spiritual deepening that can come from being in close community with this kind of international and interdenominational team. We will be free labor to the local ministry that we're placed with so as not to be a burden on their limited resources or to limit jobs available for locals. So our sending organization has helped us project a monthly budget for our family of about $7,500 per month. We'd like you to consider supporting our work and lives in Southeast Asia very practically through financial support. All donations are made through our organization and are tax deductible. This covers certain expenses such as our health insurance and pays us a living allowance that sustains our family and enables us to offer our professional skills at no cost. We're hoping to have all our financial support committed by June of this year in time for us to depart in September. We're almost 40% of the way there right now, thanks to the generosity of Advent and a number of individuals and families in our congregation. To turn your attention back to this photo, I'd like to point out that our wedding happened much like our service in Southeast Asia will happen, or engaging in world missions happens. It's because this staging room and the sanctuary beyond it are full and active. Everyone has hands to do work that the Lord will bless. At the end of the day, for Church of the Advent, we will all have a stake in Christ's kingdom advancing in Southeast Asia 
and the well-being of vulnerable families there. And at the end of time, when the bridegroom returns to claim his bride the church, we will all have brothers and sisters from other walks of life to appreciate and enjoy. And we'll all share a lived story of how we got to help prepare the global feast together. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. And we would love to hear from you if you feel led to partner with us. You can reach out to us at this email address. Um, you can also check out the links below. One will take you to the donations page where you can go ahead and set up monthly financial support if you feel led. And the other links will take you to short videos with more about us, the journey we're on, and our sending organization. May God bless you.